Hey, what's going on, guys? So one of the top questions I get on Instagram and YouTube is how do we control custom characters that we get from Marketplace with the iPhone Live Link face? Because you know I've been using it on the MetaHuman, so on and so forth. But how do we use that with assets inside the Marketplace? Well, it's kind of tricky because for it to work on custom characters, the characters themselves need blend shapes on the faces or morph targets. So if you go to the Epic Marketplace and you type in blend, oh my good, oh, oh my, what blend shape, you're going to see a couple of characters right here. Now, none of these guys look good, so I ended up getting this modular elf archer girl because she has more blend shapes than this dude, so... This is on sale right now, that's why I grabbed it. So if you click on this person here, and you look at the the seller, I actually contacted her on ArchStation because I told her about the whole plan with blend shapes and, hey, trying to control it in Live Link Face because her characters, majority of them, do have blend shapes. And as you can see, I clicked on the less clickbaity one because I know you guys... I know you guys don't like clickbait thumbnails, so, you know, I got you. So, we picked this one, and majority of these characters have blend shapes. So, what you need to look for is, whenever you're shopping for a character that you want to control with the Live Link Face app on the iPhone, you double-click that character, and you have to check here. You actually have to read, and it should say something about blend shapes, morph targets, facial expressions. Without the blend shapes, you're not going to be able to control this. Unless you make your own blend shapes, be but ooh, it, it, it doesn't look fun. So look for characters that has blend shapes or morph targets. Okay, so I have this open in my project already. I'll have it open up right here. So what I did was just I created a new folder called Anims. And what we're going to do first is right click. We're going to create a new animation, animation blueprint. Okay, and we're going to look for the skeleton that this girl uses. She uses the game archer. You can see the folder is game archer, but she uses the UE4 mannequin skeleton. So that's good. That's what we want. Press OK. And we're going to type the name archer girl. I cannot spell two. So we have two blueprints. Ignore this one because this is the one I had earlier. And I'm going to show you why I kept it here because it's going to be awesome for you if it works out. So I'm going to double click this girl and all we have to do is make sure first we have live link enabled. Sorry, totally forgot about that. Live link, live link. You can turn all this on and you also need Apple AR because that's what uses the facial stuff. All right. So right click the atom graph. We're going to open up a live link pose and we're going to connect this here. And for the subject, I don't have my phone connected yet, so I'm going to leave that blank for now. And then I'm going to go to the event graph. I'm going to drag this here, and I'm going to go live link. Oh, boy. Evaluate live link frame. And again, there's a drop down here for our phone, but I'm not going to connect that just yet. Okay, so compile, save gonna have an error because I don't have the phone yet but that's okay all right so the next thing we have to do is take a look at her blend shapes here so if I double click the skeletal mesh here are the blend shapes for this character and what that really does is if I show you real quick I'm gonna move up right here gosh this mouse is so sensitive okay so let's see if I can get this. so the blend shapes are options pretty much whenever you create a character you can create these blend shapes for your character and the live link face app uses blend shapes to control the facial expression okay but the issue is her blend shapes in this character is different from the blend shapes in the apple ar kit so what we're going to have to do is, oopsies, take a look at these blend shapes and find similar blend shapes in the Apple AR kit. In the perfect world, if you're creating characters for Unreal, and I know a lot of people are going to be doing this soon, 
when you're creating your blend shapes, go to this page and make sure you're naming all of your blend shapes similar to the Apple AR kit because this is going to help you in the long run when you're selling your characters in the marketplace. So people and buyers don't have to do this manually, just do it for them. So it would just be plug and play. So as far as I know, it has 52 blend shapes, the Apple AR kit. All right. So let's go back to the mesh. And we're going to start with the mouth. And if you look at this mouth O, okay, that's basically just her saying O. So if you go to the AR kit and you look in the mouth, there's a jaw open or mouth funnel. All right, so looking at mouth funnel is actually going to show you what that is from zero to one. So that looks like the O. And like I said, you can mess around with this, but I'm going to choose the closest one. So for you to do this, you have to go back to Unreal, minimize this for now because we're going to need that. We're going to create a remap asset. So if I go to right click, blueprint class, and right here, we're going to go remap, live link remap asset, select. And we're going to rename this asset do. Double click, and it's going to open this blank graph all right go to override get remap curve name and then the get remap curve name we're gonna squirrely switch on name bop so that's good and i'm gonna go to switch on name we can disable that if you don't want and in the switch on name, this is where we're going to add the Apple AR. So we're going to add a pin, and we're going to go to the Apple AR kit, mouth funnel, copy, paste, enter. For the return node, we're going to use the girls, name, head, mouth, O, copy, minimize. Go back to the asset, or I could have just switched over this way, sorry. Go to return node, paste, enter. Drop it right there, save. So you're gonna do that for all of these blend shapes that you can find similar in the Apple AR kit. But what I'm gonna do is for this character, if you decide to get it, and I'm not sure about the rest of her characters, I don't know if they retain the same blend shape name, I'm gonna let you download this asset, this remap asset, so you don't have to rename them because I already have it right here, Asset 2. I already renamed all of these for you. So all you have to do is download it and go back to your blueprint. Go to your Anim Graph. Go to the Live Link Post. Click on that and change it to Asset Do. But we're going to use Asset for now because that's the completed one. That's what I'm going to let you download is the Asset. So change it here. Okay, so if I go to asset, curve name to selection, so that's good. So this is all switched, just pretty much, I just skipped like 30 minutes of me trying to rename these for you, so you don't have to do it. And then to get it working, we click on the skeletal mesh, on the animation, change the, uh, change the animation mode to blueprint, and then choose the blueprint, which is arch. We're going to use, actually, let's use arch too. Because that's the one we just created right here. Okay. Alright. Event graph is good. But we just have to change this here. Alright. So on the girl. We click her again. Scroll down. There's one more thing. That we have to click. And it's. Animation and editor. Go ahead and check that mark. Check mark that. And also add a live link component. Skeleton. Anything having to do with live link. I usually add this skeleton animation. All right. Now to set up your phone, I already have a video. Uh, check out this video. I did a I did a full tutorial on how to set up your phone for uh, Live Link. But what I'm gonna do is just turn it on right now. It's the Live Link Face app. It's free. And I'm gonna set the IP because I think I changed the IP. So now you're gonna see that pop up. Now we have this here now, which is good. So we're going to look at that blueprint we just created. We're going to change this to my phone. That's the phone. Go to Anim Graph. 
change this to the phone as well. Compile and save. Minimize. And now you can see that I'm controlling this character with my phone. But the mouth, the facial stuff, and I turned it off. So the issue is that Apple AR Kit has 52 blend shapes, and this character only has like 12, I think. Let's see. Go to mesh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11. This girl has 18, but I think not all 18 matches the Apple AR Kit. So for you guys out there creating these characters, it's if you believe that your character is going to sell and if it's really high quality, I think it would be smart for you guys to start implementing majority of these blend shapes so the customers can use the Live Link Face app because like I said, like Code Miko is doing right now with the virtual CG girl streaming mocap uh, mo suit with facial mocap, this is where streaming is going. So, you know, like, kind of like a heads up, guys, this, this, this industry is about to blow up. Because to be honest, for me, as you all know, I use majority of everything I use in the marketplace. And that's why I don't have a lot of CG characters, human CG characters in my movies, because I don't have blend shapes characters, you know. So I'm sticking with people that wear masks. It's cheating, but unfortunately... It's budget constraints, you know, for me to customize a character like this it's and make it look extremely photorealistic, it's going to cost a lot of money. So, uh, yeah, I, I hope this video wasn't too long and I am going to let you guys download this. I'll put in the link in the uh, comments below so you guys can just really plug it in. But like I said, I'm not sure if this is going to work for other characters because all, all, I don't know if they're going to retain the same exact blend shape names but at least for this character you know that you can get some movement even though it's not as realistic as a meta human it still has some mouth movement and winking and blinking and stuff like that so you want to learn unreal engine 4 but majority of the videos out there are for video game creations maybe i can help with that i just created a beginner's course on how to make a movie inside unreal engine 4. in an hour and 40 minutes i'm going to teach you how to install unreal engine 4 to create your very first cg animation unreal engine is the future and this video is the perfect introduction to it